Hey guys, welcome back. In the last session, we have discussed about the predicate. Okay, so in this session, we will be seeing about when to use predicate. Okay, uh, let's see. Basically, the predicate will be useful in scenarios where you want to filter the given element or filter the given list of elements, or if you want to test the given element. Okay, or uh, you want to like you know if you want to match the given elements, so you'll be using the predicate. So when to use predicate? Predicate will be useful in scenarios where you want to filter, test, and match the elements based on the criteria. Okay, fine. So now let's take an example and test whether the given number is an even or odd. Okay, let's say I have a number, I have a number 24. I want to check, I want to check whether the number 24 is even or odd. Even or odd. For this, I'll choose the predicate because predicate is the one which will take the input of uh in which which take the input and it will evaluate the condition it will return the true or false uh, true or false uh. so for, um so what i'll do is now uh the predicate will be having the test method right so the test method will be taking the t as a type here t could be any type of a, a value you can take so it could be int value double value float value string value even option also you can take as a type so for my condition for my scenario i'll be taking the int as a type what i'll do is i'll be providing the implementation for this test method because test is an abstract method right so we need to provide the implementation for this method in the implementation only we will be checking the condition if the number is divisible by two or not so if it is divisible we will be uh, writing the true or false okay now what i'll do is i'll be uh, jumping for the implementation of the test method the test method what it will take it will take a single parameter what i'll do is i'll be passing a single parameter number is a single parameter it will take a okay let me write the parenthesis okay now now i want to write the condition right if the number is divisible by two and the remainder is zero then only we can consider the given number is a even number okay number divisible by two and the remainder is zero we can say that the given number is the even number so uh, we are writing you can see here we have written the implementation for the test method where this test method is available in the predicate so we have to say that so this is the implementation of the predicate test method okay so in teacher fine so now here i'll be creating an object of int predicate fine so now we have written the implementation for the given number okay now what i'll do is i have to call this implementation now writing just implementation isn't uh, uh end actually we have to uh, execute this implementation so for that what i have to do so what is the implementation method what is the method which we have implemented this is the method we have implemented what we have to do we have to make a call to this method itself right so how to uh, how to call this test method okay test is a what what type of method it is it is a non-static method non-static method must be called with respect to what object name what is our object name in predicate is the object name so i'll say int predicate not test i'll be passing the number over here we'll pass in the number over here this method this method will return the true or false because see whatever the value you are passing it will be copied to over here you're, you're saying that number divisible by two if it is divisible by two it will return zero okay so 24 is the number which is divisible by two and the reminder is zero now uh, this becomes the this will return true this method will return true so in the same way, if I'm testing for the odd as well, so let's say the number is 19. Okay, so 19 percentile true. So 19 is not divisible by 2. Okay, so that's why it is an odd number. Okay, so likewise, we are uh, writing the implementation of the test method and we are testing that uh, uh, logic actually. So in this way, we will be writing it. In the same way, you can practice it as well. If you have uh, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I'll um, uh, happy to help you. Okay. In the next video, what we will be doing is we will be writing a code for this, what we have discussed. Okay. We'll be writing a code for this. Um, and we'll see. We'll see in the next video. And thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share my YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, so that I can motivate uh, motivate myself and uh, do more videos on this uh, you know, Java. Okay. So your support must be needed actually. Thank you for watching.